Hey everyone, how are you going? So this is the first clear weather we've had now in about a month. Well, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but it's the first fully clear night that we've had in at least three weeks. We've had two hours here and there. So anyway, tonight's gonna to be pretty cool because I'm testing out a few new things. I've got the little 533 MC cooled here on my little portable rig. I also picked up a, um, a second-hand um, ASI Air Pro. Um, not the cardboard version if you've seen my earlier videos on this so um, I've given that a very quick go last night for like half an hour and just figured out how to use it so I'm gonna be using that tonight and um, thirdly I'm just um, gonna be using my new mount over there in the background so that's the um, uh, Saxon AZ, AZ GT6 I think that's how you say it anyway um, basically the same as the Skywatcher model. Um, the Saxon's a brand that's down here in Australia, but it's pretty much the same as Orion or the Skywatcher model. Um, so yeah, looking forward to trying that as well. I've had that out a couple of times briefly, but again, it'll be nice to just get it out for a, an absolute full night tonight. I've um, got the mozzies chasing me as usual. So yeah, I've got all this set up. Um, Got to wait about two hours now for it to go dark. Hey guys, um, just want to show you the um, clutches on this new mount and one of the reasons that I went for it. Um, I'll just, so basically got one of the clutches here. And you can see how easy that is just to slacken off and tighten. It feels really solid. And then you've got your second axis here. You basically slacken these two nuts off on either side of the mount and then you screw this in or out it's really solid you can see how beefy that screw is so it's really nice and easy to change um, change your angle here on that axis so yeah really happy with those and one of the reasons I went for this mount so I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna go with with the 533 here on the little portable rig I'm thinking even though I don't really want to do the tarantula again I'd be interested to see what it looks like now through this cooled camera with an L enhanced filter on it and that nice big wide view um, on the 135 uh, Samyang um, and with the big rig um, there are some targets I want to do much later in the night like after one o'clock but I'm thinking what I'd like to do is the Fornax cluster so it's like a cluster of galaxies and it's got the great spard uh, the great barred spiral galaxy in it so i think i'm going to give that a go as well um, so that's going to be on the big rig um, it is a half moon so we'll see how we go with that but that's the two objects all right so we'll get going and i will catch you a little bit later on guys so we've had um, the good news is we've had two nights now of really clear skies and I've got plenty of chance to use the um, AZ GTI mount here with the, the new um, ASI Air Pro on it and also the 533 Pro camera so I'm really looking forward to processing some of that data that I've got of the tarantula nebula nice wide data again but this time trying it with a sort of dedicated setup like this um, definitely found definitely found the ASI Air Pro a really good match for this type of portable rig um, 
took a little bit of getting used to you know the app but once you're used to it um, yeah it's um, it's all put together pretty well pretty intuitive um, so I think it's going to make a really good companion for this small setup um, I probably wouldn't look at changing it for my big setup because I've got the um, USB cable connected directly to my desktop and Nina's really good for you know setting up those sequences and things so no reason to change that um, the big rig the EQ6 um, GT AZ GT mount that's been performing really well I've definitely noticed I'm throwing away a lot less subs now when I've got my Newtonian scope on it um, if you watch the channel you'll know that I used to get sort of elongated stars on some of my subs and I used to have to throw probably 50% of my subs away so I don't know if it's just the fact we've had such good weather in terms of a very low breeze or whether it whether it's the weight of the mount that's sort of making it a bit more secure but yeah that's been really good so I've also got some data on the Fornax cluster and I'm hoping that's going to come out well too so that's pretty much it so um, yeah thanks you guys um, for joining me I hope you got something out of this Hope you got something out of this video um, and um, I just wish you all clear skies and thanks anybody who's subscribed or um, is already subscribed and thanks for any comments you guys leave. I think it's always nice um, as sort of an astrophotography community um, I notice how many people you know leave comments for each other and are interested in what each other's doing and I've certainly made quite a few YouTube buddies through this channel so um, appreciate all you guys leaving comments and supportive comments and um, yeah clear skies to everyone and I'll leave you with some images and I'll see you all soon Hey guys, so that's all the images taken now. I did manage to get a good um, two nights worth of data, so that's really good. Um, and I'm gonna get into processing those now, which as we all know, can take um, a lot longer sometimes than actually taking the images, depending on how you go. Um, so I'd just like to thank everyone again. And um, if you guys could um, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and maybe consider subscribing as well, that would be um, really good, because it really does help, help the channel grow. And um, until next time, uh, clear skies and um, I hope to see you all soon.